I'm Frank. And I'm Nicole. And we're, and we're the, the Nerdyweds. Hey guys. Hi. Welcome or welcome back to our channel. What are we doing today? Percy Jackson. Yay, more Percy Jackson. I'm so excited. We're going to be on episode six, yep. which is titled, We Take a Zebra to Vegas. Uh, and we all know that is the best way to get to Vegas. <laughs> uh, quick recap from the last episode. We met Aries. And I feel like he might be a little disrespected by how Percy treated him mm -hmm. towards the end. And I, I think something's going to happen later. I, I remember you said that you think the same thing, that... Mm -hmm. That he's not going to brush it off. He's going to take it as a slight. Of course he is. Yeah. I mean, he's got a major tune. <laughs> like. Yeah. He's, uh, you know, the God of War. I said war really weird. God of War. God of War. <laughs> God of War. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Yeah. Like in, um, I don't know if you know this, but in Roman mythology, all the, the gods their names, for the most of them, are named, like, the, the planets. So, like, Zeus is Jupiter. Yeah. Uh, Aries is Mars. Aries is Mars. Okay, so you do know that. Yes. Um, And what I find funny and sad at the same time is they don't, the gods don't treat Hades as a god because, you know, he's the god of the underworld and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um. His Roman name is Pluto. Yes. Which is no longer a planet. Yeah. And I just find that funny and sad because we love Hades. The cat. The cat. <laughs> so, yeah, they met Ares. Ares sent them on, like, a little side quest to go get his, his shield, shield. Yeah. from Waterland, which turned out to be a theme park created by Hephaestus. Mm -hmm. Basically as a trap to try to trap Ares and Aphrodite, who is Hephaestus' wife, um, because they have a thing for each other. And we saw, like, the story of Hephaestus, you know, getting thrown off the mountain by his mother, and... Um, Significantly less ugly than we thought he was going to be. Yeah. And then, like, th there was the chair, which was meant to imprison other gods, mainly mm. Hera, and the only way that Hephaestus would let her free is if they had him married to Aphrodite. So, he kind of got his wife through a trap, and that's just a little icky to me. Mm. So, you want to feel bad for the guy, but at the same time, it's like, uh, yeah. yeah. You know. So, you know, Percy sacrificed himself for the good of the quest so that Annabeth could get the shield. And then she wound up, like, convincing Hephaestus to release Percy. So then they headed back to the diner to get Grover. And then it ends with Ares putting them on a truck heading to Vegas. Yes. So... Where there's apparently a zebra. Yeah, where there's apparently a zebra. So, that's what happened in the last episode. So, I'm really excited for this one. But before we jump into the video, don't forget to do all the YouTube stuff. You know, give us a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell so that when we have new videos out, you're notified. Uh, she started putting out the uh, the rest of the Breaking Bad season one. Yeah, we're... we're Starting to put Breaking Bad videos back out, so check those out if you like Breaking Bad. So those are gonna that's gonna be uh season two that we get to pretty soon. Pretty soon. I I just uploaded episode four as of the time that we're recording this. Yeah. And uh, if you're new to the channel, you get to see us our fat versions. Yeah, we we recorded season one of Breaking Bad in like August of twenty twenty. And then, you know, things happened. We had gastric sleeve surgery so we were out for that not doing anything yeah. and then 
computer issues and camera and issues. Camera issues. Then we finally got to putting stuff onto YouTube a year ago, and then more computer issues, and it was, it was a whole thing. But we're getting back into the swing of th things. We're going to try to get, be as consistent as we can be because we do have to work with Frank's work schedule, which is why we're so far behind on Percy Jackson uh, at the time that we're recording this. The eighth episode is already aired. Yeah. So we're a little behind, but we're going to try to get these out as quickly as possible and then move on to other things. Yeah, we're going to we're going to finish up our Rings of Power mm -hmm. and then we're going to do Break Bad season two and probably find another show to watch yeah and we're gonna get into some video game stuff mm -hmm. pretty soon some movies there are some movies that i want to react to that aren't part of our throwback nerds day which we might start doing that soon too yeah like soon ish i, I really want i really want to we haven't watched the barbie movie yet but that's something that we want to do uh i really want to watch elemental because we haven't watched that yet mm -hmm. there, there's a lot of movies that we want to react to for you guys. So yeah, those should be coming in the future. Mm -hmm. So yeah, those that to look forward to. And especially if you are subscribed and ring the bell, cause then you'll know when those are out. So, so yeah. Also join our Patreon if you would like, uh, where we will have full reactions to everything that we're reacting to. And our video game, videos will be one continuous video rather than what we break down to on YouTube and that'll be out before the YouTube one. So though so that's like a little perk for uh Patreon is you get the full thing not cut down and edited before it's mm -hmm. on YouTube. So that'll be in the description below. And I think that is Is that it. A set? Let's get into so, it. Let's go. Isn't that right, little hero? Hmm. Not time for us to meet quite yet. Oh, that's the creepy voice he's been hearing. Hmm. Wonder who he was talking to. Hmm. Called him the lightning thief. Can you see where we are? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, toss a coin to your witcher. <laughs> Wrong show. Okay, show me Camp Half Blood. Chiron's office. Look. Where's Chiron? Chiron's holding camp together with both hands. Everyone thinks we're going to war, so the cabins are taking sides. Uh oh. We ran into Ares, and Grover got him talking and realized Ares knew who the thief was, but was covering for them. His favorite dogger. Clarice is the lightning thief. Mm. Chiron's gotta arrest her. What do you think about that? Mm. So Ares, huh? What was that like? Well, compared to the Chimera on Monday and Medusa on Sunday, it would have been a lot worse. <laughs> Medusa was Saturday. It's not Sunday. No monsters on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, they take off on Sundays. Mm. Yeah, they got they got to pray to their choice of God. We're headed to Las Vegas to find your dad. What was that about? You can't ask Luke about his dad. Well, now I certainly can. <laughs> He's gonna try to talk us out of it. We don't need that right now. Mm. They don't get along? I don't know why that surprises you, that a child doesn't get along with their god parent. <laughs> Some of these guys, so smart. They were really only missing, like, one piece of the puzzle to get the cages unlocked. What's that? Uh, Dumbs. <laughs> Yay, evolution. <laughs> These guys, they're... They're like artists. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the turtle. <laughs> it seems dangerous. Oh, they'll be totally fine. I gave them a satyr's blessing, so they'll be able to reach the wilderness. I meant for the people. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, right? It's Vegas. If, if getting mauled by an animal is the worst thing that happens to you, you're having a good day. Yeah. <laughs> so how do we know which hotel is the lotus? Mm. The I one that says lotus? The giant lotus blossom on it. Oh. Are you ready to try it, maybe? Oh, man. If that was actually real, I'd be all over that. What? 
Your mom told you all the stories. Did she read you the Odyssey? Graphic novel. <laughs> <laughs> Sea lands on a beach. There's these guys who've forgotten where they came from, forgot everything that was important to them. They got that way because they ate the lotus flowers. Mm. What do you think, wise girl? Just don't eat anything. Wait, why were you looking at me? Because <laughs> you're constantly eating. Because he's a goat. Exactly. This place is a lot bigger than it looked from the outside. He could be anywhere. It's like the TARDIS of casinos. <laughs> Go check that side of the floor. I'll take Percy this way. One way or the other, we meet back in the lobby in 20 minutes. What do I say to him if I find him first? Hi. What's up? What's up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's that? What's up, my fellow goat? <laughs> He's a distraction, that's who he is. Augustus, um... it's me. It's Grover. Do you remember me? He's been eating. Mm, yeah. No, you don't remember me. Aww. You ate the lotus flowers. He was preparing for a search. He talked about you. Ferdinand. Yeah. I just wanted to let you know I found him. Mm. I found him. No, I found Ferdinand. It's okay. I shouldn't be bothering you. No, you found not Pan. Ferdinand. I found Pan. He's, he's here. I've almost got him mm. and here you are will you help me oh no time for a side quest bro right in and out 10 seconds that's what Diana Beth said I don't have my searcher's license to look for Pam I won't tell if you won't <laughs> <laughs> you think he's actually there I don't know this is like the least natural place in the world. Seems like a strange choice. Augustus? I'm sorry, have we met? Uh, yeah, because he's continuing to eat. I mean, the first thing you should have done was take the bag away from him. <laughs> They're nacho chips. Would you like some? Are you serious? <laughs> he's doing the nacho chip joke. Not eating the flowers and why are you forgetting things oh i gotta tell my i gotta oh yep yeah did he eat oh no just being there makes you forget she looks up at the sky and she says he was wearing a hat ha <laughs> <laughs> ha Welcome. Lynn Manuel Miranda again. Hmm. I guess it wasn't just a delivery guy. He's Hermes. You want my help to sneak into the underworld? Wow. You're a really good guesser. I exist beyond space and time, kid. Why do you think they put me in charge of delivering the mail? <laughs> Look, you're not the first demigods to ask. And trust me, you won't be the first demigods to walk away disappointed. So you might as well at least play a little bit. We're friends of Luke's. I mean, you can't walk mm. away from the table with the dice. He's a god. He can do whatever he wants. Okay. Time and space are easy, kids. What just happened? <laughs> you warped them over there. Oh. <laughs> Twin it... said time and space is not a big thing for him. Do you know what that feels like? To be so close to someone you love. Knowing neither of you has any choice but to keep hurting each other. I know you do. Oh. Should I remind you too? Mm. I remember. If it makes you feel any better, it won't be much use now anyway. What's that supposed to mean? Hmm. Uh oh. How long have they been in there? Mm. We have a huge problem. 
I know it seems like we've only been here for like 20 minutes, but it's already Thursday. We've oh. been here for days. <laughs> wow, wow. Hermes let us sit at that table the whole time, knowing the clock is running out on our quest. Yes. And I feel a lot better about having stolen his keys. <laughs> 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 Hermes pocket. You picked Hermes pocket? I'm multi talented. <laughs> Not just book smart, she's street smart. Mm -hmm. Hermes told me something else. The reason we can't feel time passing is because of the lotus fruit. We didn't eat any lotus fruit. They pump it into the air. Mm. Hermes reminded me there was something we needed to do before we could leave. Grover. Who's Grover? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> They're your best friend, go get him! <laughs> Grover. I remember Grover. Man, Grover got really old. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for a friend, a satyr. Have you seen him? Where is he? Wait. Oh. Oh. Hi, have we met? <laughs> I was so close. <laughs> I know, I hate it when someone does that to me. But it's really time to go. Of course. Where are we going? Gosh. You don't know who we are, do you? Yeah. No, I don't. Have we met? Aww. Percy, Annabeth, we're your best friends. Really? <laughs> Sweet, I have best friends? <laughs> we're short on time, and we gotta go. Right now. A quest? Oh, That's sweet! Amazing. <laughs> but also, I'm sorry, what was your name again? God of Travelers. What kind of car does the God of Travelers have? Go ahead. God, I can only imagine. It's gonna be like a rusted out VW bus or something. <laughs> All these fancy ass cars down here. Yeah. Or it's gonna be the zebra. Really? Because of me? It's okay. We're gonna be okay. I mean, they've obviously been in here for a couple hours more, so it's not Thursday anymore. It's probably already Friday afternoon. Jesus. Unless they just ignore the continuity of it all. Guys. Hermes. That's a taxi. Cab. <laughs> How do we know that's for us? <laughs> it says we'll become travelers once we're on the road. And then a car will take us wherever we wish to go. Isn't that how cars usually work? <laughs> sure, I mean, I killed the Minotaur on my first try, right? How hard could this be? Oh! How do you make it go backwards? Oh, God. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> You're welcome to give this a try. How about just less get on the gas? <laughs> just let go of the brake and let it roll. Hey, he's 12, okay? <laughs> oh! That guy didn't even slow down. <laughs> All late. I wonder if the numbers on the front of the hood has, is like a clue for them or something. Because if you look at it upside down, it says the word line. Mm. So. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Ooh, that was scary. Where are we? Oh, the car was taking us where we want to go as soon as we hit the road. Like that it is said. what he said, yeah. Wait, you... You guys are my best friends. Hmm. A little weird that I forgot a lot more stuff than you guys did. I wonder what that's about. We weren't alone. It's easy to forget what's important when you're alone. Mm. I think I gotta go meet my dad now. We'll be here when you get back. Be like, sup, bro? Like, hey, dad, wanna play some catch? <laughs> I 
I think it's still technically Thursday, just a little later. Much later. Yeah. Sorry. He waited as long as he could. The summer solstice passed earlier this evening. Zeus's deadline has elapsed. Your father has gone to marshal his forces and prepare for war. What? Okay, so it was much later. You made your father proud. Now, it's time for you to return to camp. I have to keep going. If you can help, then you must help. Mm. Each will provide one of you safe passage back from the underworld. Mm. There are four of them. Save the world. And then go save your mother. Hmm. Mm. Wow, that, that was, was an insanely short. short episode. Wow. Wow. That was right. it. Yeah, that was episode six. Right to the point. That, yeah, that, I wasn't expecting it to be that short. <laughs> it was short, but it was a very interesting episode. So we met Hermes, mm -hmm. and I I think he doesn't, it's not that he's not allowed to be involved, get involved, which Technically, he's not because Zeus doesn't want the other gods to get involved with this. But I also feel like he struggles with trying to get involved because of mm -hmm. things that happened in the past. Which does happen in the books, just in later books. But that's okay. That's fine. It made me really sad for to see Grover lose his memories of mm -hmm. them quicker than they did. and. You know, like mm -hmm. Annabeth said, it's because we weren't alone. And that just, that hurt my heart. I love Grover so much. <laughs> so yeah, so now Percy has these four orbs to mm -hmm. help get them out of the underworld. So Now they just need to get in. Yeah, they just need to get in. So hopefully they, well, I mean, Hermes told them how where to go didn't say it to us but they know they know the password to get in and mm -hmm. everything so hopefully that is going to be in the next episode which we will be getting into like right after this because i want to continue mm -hmm. yeah overall i liked it not like you know like a super action-packed kind of video uh episode more like revelations and information yeah. coming out at you which you know, it's always good to have in, in shows you can't just have nonstop action all the time. You need mm -hmm. info or you're going to be like, what is happening? <laughs> you know, I, I, I like how they made the place where you forget about time a casino. Yeah, that's yeah. And in that it is like that in the books. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so if I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about the book. So if you have only seen the show and you plan on the read in the books, you can probably skip ahead while I, I talk about it. So in the books, they do go to the hotel. I if I'm remembering correctly, I think they had a little bit longer of a deadline for the solstice. And I think they wound up spending almost like a whole week mm -hmm. at this place. They didn't run into Hermes here. Um it, it's just where the the truck took them and like, as soon as he got there, the, the hotel staff is being really, like, nice to them. And they're like, oh, no, we have a suite ready for you already. Oh, yeah. And um, the hotel was the hotel itself was, was just a distraction. Yeah. And it's like, oh, and, and here's your your play cards for the arcades and everything. And and Percy's like, well, what's the limit on it? And the lady's like, what limit? Like, it was limitless. Mm -hmm. And yeah, like they, they were playing like virtual reality and like water slides and all this stuff and they finally come to I I think it was Annabeth. No. I think it was Percy. I I really do need to reread the books. It's been a while. Percy runs into a kid playing a game and they're talking and Percy said something and the kid's like, 
not understanding what he's talking about. And Percy, like, notices his outfit is, like, tie-dye and, like, fringe and stuff like this. And, yeah. And the kids from the 70s or the 60s. <laughs> and Percy's like, I have a question, but who's the president? And the kid says the president. I can't remember which president he says, but it's not the current one. Yeah. And that kind of, like, gets him like snapped out of it and then he goes and gets the other two and then they get out. So it's a little different. I kinda I do like how they did did it like this. Um a lot better than the movie did. But you know, you will see that for yourself when we do the movie. Mm. So yeah, if you want to see us in pain, we'll be doing that after this. <laughs> Not right after, because we do have a couple other things to finish, mm-hmm. but it will be relatively soon after we finish the show. So, yeah, those are the only little, like, changes, but they're not yeah. terrible changes. I liked it, and I'm excited for the next video. All right. So, before we go, don't forget to do all the YouTube stuff down below. The likes, likes. the subscribes, the ringing of the bells. Let us know what you think of the episode. Mm-hmm. Anything we missed, any little details we missed, let us know. Yeah. Um. There is, I did see something on youtube and i didn't i didn't hear it in the show so i'm wondering if people are just talking about it that without giving too much away the thing was a certain character says another character's name in the background that we don't see until the third book Mm. I didn't hear any mention of those characters, so unless I missed it, and maybe I'll pick it up while editing, I don't know. So I I don't know if that actually happened, or if it was just someone saying that it should have happened. And I'm trying to be as vague as possible, because I don't want to give anything away to him, I don't want to give anything away to people that haven't read the books and are just watching the show, but from what I saw, there was mentioned of other characters from later books in this episode, but I didn't hear it. So yeah. So if you happen to catch that, let me know. And so I can go back and and listen. So yeah, comment that down below. Also comment suggestions on what we could do for our throwback nerds day videos. Um, You know, like TV shows from the, the late eighties, 90s early 2000s those kind of areas same with movies so that we can react to or you know uh watch again for nostalgia and if it's held up to to today's spoiler alert most things haven't (laughs) (laughs) yeah they haven't but you know it, it it would be interesting to watch a lot of things that we watch as kids with adult eyes you know so Suggestions for that would be good, too. Right. And uh, we will see you in the next video, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.